Hello everyone, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to upgrade to Windows 10 Fall Creators Update so as to benefit from the new features of Windows. This upgrade allows you to keep your personal files and applications after the upgrade. However, it's always recommended that you back up your files before performing such upgrade. Now, there are many different ways to do your backup depending on what you want to keep or what is more important to you. If you are mainly concerned about your personal files and folders, then you may consider copying them to a flash stick or to an external hard drive. This could be faster especially if you don't have much files to save. But if you want to back up your files and folders, your programs and also your operating system, then I recommend you do a full system backup and here is how you do that in Windows 10. Go to your control panel. A quick way to do that is to go to your search and type control panel. Then click on the control panel icon. Now on the top right corner of the control panel window where it says view by, click the drop down and select large icons. Then click on backup and restore. At the top left corner of the screen that comes up, click on create a system image. It then asks you where you want to save your backup. Connect your flash or external hard drive and then select on a hard disk. Click on the drop down and select refresh. It should automatically detect your storage device, then click on next and then start backup. Now the backup might take a while depending on the amount of files and applications you have on your system. I'm going to fast forward this process for the purpose of this video. At the end of the backup, it will ask you if you want to create a system repair disk. Just click on no and then close the window. Then you would see a folder named Windows Image Backup in your external storage device, which means you have successfully backed up your entire system. Now that we have our system fully backed up, let's go ahead and install the full creators update. Now there are two possible ways to install this update. One way is to run your normal Windows update. The second way is to use the Microsoft Media Creation tool. Now, please note that if you are still running Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 and you wish to upgrade to Windows 10, then following the steps I showed in this video will upgrade you to Windows 10 and automatically install the full creators update. So you don't need to do it as a separate process. I will add a link to this video in the description section below. If you are already running Windows 10 and you wish to upgrade using the check for update tool, you can go to your search and type check for update. Then click on check for update on the windows that follows. Your update will download and install automatically as usual. Now in many cases, this procedure wouldn't get you the full creators update. So you may need to use the second method, which is the media creation tool. Now, at the end of this video, I'll be showing you how to verify if you have successfully installed the full creators update in case you tried this first process and it works for you so you can verify if it's in fact updated. To download the media creation tool, go to your browser and search download Windows 10 disk image. Click on the first result from Microsoft, then it will take you to the download page. Click on update now and your media creation tool should download pretty fast. Then launch the media creation tool by double clicking and then follow the directions shown in this video to complete the update process.
and that is how you upgrade to Windows 10 for Creators Update. Now, if you are still wondering if you already have the Creators Update installed or not, this is how to verify. Open your file explorer and click on this PC. Then from the computer menu, click System Properties. Under Windows Specification, it should have a version number 1709, which is the version number for the full Creators Update. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and delete the previous version of Windows. This is completely optional as Windows will do that automatically after 10 days. But if you already want to free up some disk space, then go to your search and type settings. From your Windows settings, go to system, then storage, then change how we free up space. Then on this window, you can choose to delete the previous version of Windows and clear now to complete the process. Also, if for some reason you are not okay with the update, you can easily go back to your previous version of Windows 10 to revert back the entire process. Now to do that, you go to your search and type go back to previous version of Windows, then click on the corresponding search result and follow the instructions accordingly to revert to your previous version of Windows. And that completes the session. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and share with anyone who you think might find it useful as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button for updates on future videos. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.